following is a continuation of the previous video called A Better Idea Part 3. Here, I just look at the advantage of using a formal or a theoretically sound approach when trying to solve a problem. We know that <coughs> the definition of a number is summation wi di, where wi is equal to wi minus 1 times b, where b is the base of enumeration, and weights are just multiples powers of b. Now, if you wish to divide, reduce each of the digits by a constant c, we can do that readily as follows. Summation wi di by c. Now this can be written as summation wi times floor of bi by c plus bi mod c by c. Now <coughs> we know that wi is equal to in other words, this will be nothing but sum summation wi times floor of di by c plus summation wi minus 1 into b wi times di mod c by c. Now, if c divides b, say c equal to square. If B is a perfect square, <coughs> say B is a byte, 2 power 8, then 2 power 4, then a byte can be reduced to a nibble because Wi minus 1 into B by C will be mod of that will be 0. part will always be a integer, whole number or an integer except for the last digit whose weight will be 1 instead of b. So it will not be divisible by c. So that last digit will have to be kept aside. So this quantity can always be added each time and the order can always be preserved. So <coughs> we can conveniently reduce the value by half each time. di mod c will always be an integer, but since c divides b, therefore wi minus 1 into b mod c will not be necessary to compute. It will always be 0. So we can always compress it immediately if we take them. Another or <coughs> use of just this weights is as follows. Suppose we have <coughs> i bit and all we need is for the i plus 1th bit, if you are using say w i plus 1 times f of i, we require, this is for a form of hashing or a coding which is more cryptic hashing such as for passwords and stuff like that, which is compression only, but it can also be used to at the same time do cryptic encrypt it itself. Encryption will be part of it. It could be part of it itself. We have to check to see if fi, f of i is, should be order preserving or not. Ideally, it should be best if it were order preserving. Now, our objective is to simply code the number as wi times f of i, where i is the i s bit. That's all. We have to use, we are just using this as the formula. That means we require wi plus 1 times f of i plus 1 is equal to 1 plus <coughs> summation of w i times f of i. This condition must be satisfied. That is the value computed as weights for all i. 
if we use wi plus 1 f of i plus 1 is equal to that is the weight or the value that you wish to add along with the weight for the i plus 1 bit must be for some one more than the sum of all the weights for the other bits now if we have if we wish to code or hash a number from m to s where m is 2 power l dash and s is 2 power l <coughs> then we have r is equal to 2 power l by l dash right so r power l dash will be equal to 2 power l equal to equal to s will be true So that means for the i plus 1 bit, whatever is the previous value si times <coughs> r will be the value that must be associated with si plus 1, the value to be coded up to si plus 1. So what we have, in other words, we require wi times plus 1 times f of i plus 1 plus one plus summation wi times f of i must be equal to r times summation w i times f of i. This condition must be satisfied in order for it to code it up to s only. This is the this is the part that we defined earlier. So this means w i plus 1 times f of i plus 1 plus 1 must be equal to summation wi times f of i into this will be the summation times r minus 1. So that gives you wi plus 1 is equal to summation wi times f of i whole times r minus 1 minus 1 by f of i plus 1. This is the only requirement we need in order to, this can be used for pass hashing a password as well as compression as well as encryption as well. As to whether it can be used for uh, <coughs> error detection and correction or not, that it may not be. But this is very good for cryptic hashing as opposed to cryptographic meaning password hashing. It can be used both for one-way checking or if necessary to back. One-way checking it can be very easily used. 